Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well and welcome to today's video. I am going to be answering one of my most frequently asked apartment questions, which is how I decorate my apartment so nicely on a budget. One of my mottos when I'm shopping, especially for apartment stuff, but also clothing has always been balling on a budget. So when I found out that I was moving into this apartment, I was pulling all of the tricks out of the bag to save as much money as I could because I definitely have expensive taste, but my bank account can't really keep up with it. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing some tips of how you can maximize your budget when furnishing and decorating your space and also some of my favorite places to buy furniture and decor. Also, this isn't my official apartment tour yet. My apartment isn't totally done. I'd say it's like halfway there, but there's just little things I haven't gotten around to buying yet because I really want to try and like spread out all of my big purchases over a couple months, not do all of it in the beginning. And I'm also still trying to like find my home decor style. I think it's nearly there, but there's just like some finishing touches that I still want to think about a little bit. And for any of you who may be new to my channel, I have put out a number of apartment videos if you wanna see my empty apartment tour moving into my apartment for the first time, or if you're interested in moving to Portland, I put together a whole video about my tips for moving to Portland and picking the right apartment. So yeah, I will have all those videos linked down in the description box below and all of like the furniture and decor that I talk about in this video. If it's still in stock online, I will also include the links in my description box for you to shop. So yeah, I think we are just gonna start in like the living room kitchen area and then I'll take you guys through my bedroom and bathroom and that will be the video. Okay. So so starting in my living room with probably the biggest and most difficult apartment purchase that I had to make was my L-shaped couch. This sectional is literally the perfect couch for me. I am so happy that I picked this one over all of the other ones I was looking at. It's super comfortable, it was easy to assemble, and definitely worth the price. So it's also the perfect size for my apartment, not too big, not too small. I really just lucked out on this one in so many different ways. So a little bit about buying a couch for your apartment because that's definitely going to be one of the biggest ticket items that you have to buy. Couches are not always cheap. So I was really going back and forth on the type of couch I wanted to buy, whether it was going to be like a $200 to $300 love seat that was like clearly a little lower quality but a lot cheaper, or I could opt for the couch that I decided to buy, splurge a little bit more on it, but be fully happy with the couch that I have. And I was really just going back and forth because I had penciled out how much I wanna spend overall on my apartment and my couch took up like 50% of that budget and that didn't leave a lot left for me to furnish the rest of my apartment. But at the end of the day, after weighing the pros and cons, I decided to splurge and spend a little bit more on my couch because especially with everything going on right now, I am working from home and spending more time in my apartment than ever. And if I'm not laying in bed or sitting at my dining table, I am definitely laying on my couch doing work or watching TV. So I wanted to make sure that I was totally happy with the couch that I had. And I knew even if I had saved some money and like only spent 200 to $300 on a couch, I still would have wasted a couple hundred dollars because I wasn't fully happy with my purchase. And I'd probably be looking to get a new couch down the road anyways. So I just decided to spend the money up front on a couch that I was completely happy with and plan to keep for quite a while. Overstock has an amazing selection of furniture. They also have a lot of frequently changing sales. So I was able to snag my couch on sale for like $200 less than it typically is. And Overstock also has a lot of like first time customer coupons that are around like 10 to 15% off your purchase. So highly recommend checking out Overstock for furniture. To go into a little bit more detail about the decor on my couch, I have this fuzzy blanket from, I believe TJ Maxx or Home Goods. You guys will hear me say those two names like 20 million times in this video because this little tray is also from TJ Maxx. Both of these items were probably like $15 each. So super good deal for decor. And then my favorite rug in the entire world is from Ross Dress for Less. This was also one of the best finds that I've ever had. I've had this rug for about three years now. I got it for my college apartment and brought it up here because it is just perfect. And then I have a little Little bit of decor in this corner and also some mail that I need to unbox. So this basket to hold a throw blanket is from Target and I believe that the little blanket in there is from Target as well. And then this lamp that I have right here is from Walmart. This lamp was like $20 guys. I'm not even kidding. I've had this one also for three years. Got it for my college apartment. It is honestly on its last leg. It still 
looks nice, but if you look too close at it, it's kind of falling apart. So you do get what you get, but it definitely works and totally ties into my space nicely. And then this clothing rack is from Ikea, also a really good budget find. It was around $15, I believe. Once again, you do get what you pay for. It's a little flimsy, but at the same time, it's held up for a couple of years now. And only spending $13, I would honestly just get rid of this one and buy a new one. Okay, so moving over from my couch to, I don't really know what to call this corner of my apartment, but I have an unbuilt dining chair from Walmart. You guys will see the built version in a second. And then I also have this TV stand, which I believe I got from Wayfair. Wayfair is probably my number one choice for finding affordable furniture. They also have an amazing selection. It's just much more modern and like my style. So this TV stand was a super good find. It has a lot of storage inside of it as well. So this TV stand was a really good find. I actually had like 10 different ones bookmarked. I just wasn't sure which one I wanted, but I just decided to go with something simple. And guys, this is what I mean by my apartment clearly isn't done because I just haven't found a space for all of like my cleaning supplies and like miscellaneous stuff. And then if we keep moving over from my kitchen into the dining space, this is my dining table that I picked out. I believe it's like a bar height dining table. It's definitely taller than a countertop. I actually ordered some bar stools from Target, which ended up being too short for this. So then I ordered two bar stools from Walmart, which is, this is the one built. That's the one I still haven't built yet. So I was specifically looking for a dining table that had some storage in it because storage is like the number one problem in my apartment. Don't mind the mess here. I have return packages that I need to send out and I need to get some more of these little baskets that I can fit into here. I believe it was under $200 to keep with my budget and it looks a lot more expensive than it actually is. I did have to build the whole thing myself and it wasn't a very easy build, but considering that I'm gonna have it for a couple years, it was definitely worth it. Okay, moving on into the bedroom, I do have quite a bit in here to show you guys. So we can start with my bed, which is you guessed it from Wayfair. If you're looking for a bed for your apartment, I highly recommend Wayfair. They have so many options that are around $100 to $200 and look way more expensive than they actually are. I believe mine was around $130. I did use one of those moving coupons that I had for Wayfair, so that definitely helped. I have a platform bed that has a gray upholstered end and headboard. And then as far as everything on my bed, I have a throw blanket from Nordstrom, um, another throw blanket from I I believe like TJ Maxx and then my bedding is from Target and then these prints up here are from Decenio, my favorite place to get posters. This is my second time ordering from them and if you're watching this in June, I will have a discount code linked for you guys in the description box if you want to shop some of their prints. And then moving right along over here, I actually have this little like faux fur rug from Target, I believe. I think this one was like $20, maybe a little bit less. And then my nightstand, I actually got from someone who lives in this apartment building. We have like an online forum that residents in the building can post on and someone said they were moving out. They're getting rid of some furniture and so I got this Ikea nightstand that's typically like $30 for $15. So buying used furniture that's still in good condition is always an amazing option to save some money. And then as far as everything on my nightstand, this lamp right here is from Amazon. It's actually amazing. Watch this, you guys. So all you have to do is tap the base and it turns on. Like that's so awesome. And then you tap it to change the levels and turn it off. It also has these little like USBs um supports on there so that you can charge your phone which i use all the time and then my little clock is from target i've had this one for years now probably like five years and then i just got this little tray which i believe is actually a soap tray from target because i got it in the bath section but i just used it to put all of my jewelry so i can put that on in the morning take it off at night and then in here i just have like some books and then both of these Ooh, i should fix this and then both of these little storage boxes are from TJ Maxx. And this is what I'm talking about with the hallway situation. I just don't really know what's going on here. I also haven't decided where I wanna put my mirror yet. I just moved it to the end of my bed, which I actually love. I started with it on this blank wall here, then I moved it over here because the lighting was better for photos and now it's right here. So I don't really know yet, but this mirror has been with me for years. Once again, this is from Ikea and anyone looking for a mirror, do not shop anywhere except for Ikea. 
for a mirror. I swear they are 50% cheaper than anywhere you can find on the internet and they are amazing quality. A mirror this size usually costs a couple hundred dollars and I believe that from Ikea it's like 150 so super good deal. Okay so moving from the bedroom right down the hallway and into my bathroom. I don't have a ton to show in here. I just have my shower curtain from Target and this has kind of like a embroidered texture on it. And then my bath mat is also from Target. It's by the like Magnolia Hearth and Hand collection. Super cute. They have a lot of like different versions of this that have like more pink or more black on it. So definitely recommend checking out that line at Target if you're looking for something kind of this style. And I'll just quickly show you what's on my countertop. I really don't have much on here either, but this little toothbrush holder is from Target. This little cup I think is from Anthropology, and I just use it to hold my makeup brushes. And then this little tray is from TJ Maxx. Hey guys, it is actually the next day and my camera died as soon as I finished talking about everything in my bathroom. And by the time I got my camera all charged up again, to conclude the video it was already dark outside and I was like you know what I'll just finish the video the next day so it's me again I just wanted to give a proper conclusion to this video and if you have stuck around this long thank you so so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you'll be able to find some super cute decor for your own home my apartment definitely isn't finished yet so once I get all of the final touches I'll be making an official apartment tour and going through everything once it's done so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next next video. Bye!